Greetings, tribe, and welcome to Ortega's Hot Plate. I am your host of Extraordinary Magnitude, Ortega Latrobe. And I'm going to power through this one really quick. I got to get back to work. I'm just taking a break. I'm on my third 12-hour day in a row. I jump on a bus at 1 a.m. to go to Chicago, to get on a plane, to go to New York City, and then I'm going to fucking Hammerstein, baby. GCW, world on GCW at the fucking Hammerstein Ballroom, and I can't fucking wait. <clears throat> anyway... So last weekend, took my ass up to Chicago Friday night because I had to because the storm came through and the fucked up the bus schedule, so I had to go up a day early. Fortunately, my homeboy Corey was off for the night. Uh, went up, got on the train, hoofed it over to his house. We just kicked it at his place, watched some Sasquatch documentaries, had a couple beers, had a pizza, and uh, next day got up, took my ass out to the Grand Sports Arena in Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Lovely Hoffman Estates, Illinois, mind you. Four, GCW Say You Will. Fresh off their appearance at Harpo's in Detroit the night before, GCW brought it to fucking Chicago last, last weekend. Sorry about the gang, gang, gang. First time I was in the first row for a GCW show. Fucking amazing. Because I was paying attention, I didn't get destroyed by Bandito when he came into the fucking crowd. I did get hit with a chair during the Briscoes match, which was fucking great. It bounced off my head. Ref dude's like, you good? I'm like, fuck yeah, that was great, man. He's like, that's why we love you guys. It was just a cool little experience. Uh, seeing the Briscoes live is a fucking thing, man. Those dudes are intense and a fucking trip. Wonderful, wonderful time. A lot of surprises at that show. Big thing for me, my homeboy Manders fucking popped up out of nowhere. I uh, didn't realize he was on the card. There was a Justice came out, and, you know, Mancer's hurt, so Justice came out. And he just wanted to fight somebody 440, doing what they do, come out and play the fucking numbers game. Uh, Jordan Oliver came out, tried to help. They still had a little bit too much of an advantage. Corn Belt Cowboy to the fucking rescue, and they clear the ring. Um, there's a cool moment where the three dudes from 440 were talking shit, and the dudes are in the ring, blah, blah, blah. And, and they're just like, yeah, we'll fucking do this. And so they let Gregory Irons slide to the ring, and he's all shit talking. But the other two had bailed on his ass, and he got housed by the other three. Man, it was it was good fun. First time I was ever at a GCW show with no Effie, which was uh, weird. But you know, I get it, man. The dude's a popular man. He was down in Atlanta at Zicky Dice's place, uh, wrestling Dalton Castle, which I haven't seen yet. But I gotta go back and watch it because I love me some Effie. Love me some Dalton Castle. How they not gonna put on a good match? You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, what else fucking about that show, man? Uh, it was such a power trip weekend. I literally drove up there, or I didn't drive up, got on the bus, went up there. I got out of the show at about 12.30 or so when I finally left the Grand Sports Arena. Got an Uber, went over to the Rosemont CTA, took that back into town. I got back down to the, the Greyhound station at about 2.30. My bus left at 6. I got back to Iowa City at 11.15. At 12.20, I was in a car on the way to Des Moines, Iowa for the fucking Revolver Once Upon, Revol Once Upon a Time in Iowa show. Uh, lack of sleep loaded up on wrestling. It was good. Got there, front row again. First time we went front row for a fucking Revolver show as well, and God damn it, it was a blast. Uh, Cologne Christ, uh, third match of theirs just every time it escalates and they just they really put themselves out there for the crowd and they put on a great show and they both kick the shit out of each other uh great great match cologne gets the win and i'm happy with that i really fucking love alex cologne man i love my jake chris too but if it comes down and i gotta pick a side i gotta pick a side like you're making me say you have to give a choice i would have picked cologne and i'm glad to see it i'm sure it's not the last time those two are gonna fucking lock horns though i'm absolutely positive of that Got to see Billy Starks live again. Oh, man. Got to see, Sammy was up. Sammy's up walking. He's got a boot on, but he's walking, and that's good. Uh, Crash Jackson won the scramble, which was awesome. I love me some Crash Jackson. Put on a great showing. Wonderful over-the-top rope dive. And a complete fucking power play with two homies on his fucking back and just fucking hulking out for a Samoan drop. 
Love to see it, man. So, and I could go on. Like I said, I'm just trying to crank this out really fast because I got to get on a plane fucking in about 12 hours and I got to go back to work. I got a little shit going on. I'm fucking spastic because I'm wound up because I'm excited about this shit. So anyway, this weekend, what's on par is this. Going to New York City. Arrive tomorrow, Saturday, the 22nd of January in the afternoon about 3 Take the train into town, check into my Airbnb. About an hour and a half later, I'm at the Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame inaugural ceremony at the cutting room. Uh, I've got some VIP seats for that near the stage. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, they're inducting Jerry Lynn, Ruckus, Lufisto, Dave Prezak. Uh, I can't remember who else and I'm sorry I apologize and I'll talk about it when I get back from New York and I'll put everybody in there and again I just don't have any notes in front of me I'm really fucking playing fucking loose and fucking free on this one and please bear with me I'm trying here I'm trying I'm getting better I'm getting better we're all trying to do better aren't we doing better I think we're doing better so anyway independent wrestling hall of fame first time gonna go to that gimmick uh, afterwards, I'm going to hook up with a couple buddies of mine that are live in New York, have a couple drinks. Sunday afternoon, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do my fucking, I'm going to try and get all these fucking stops in. I have about six hot dog joints I want to fucking hit, as well as a couple Seinfeld spots. And, and also, I need to go to Manhattan SVU, because y'all know I love my fucking SVU, man. And I, I got to go stand in the building. I want to get a picture in front of it. Uh... I will not go in and ask if Detective Benson is there or Captain Benson. I will not ask if any Benson is there. Even Benson from the show Benson, I will not ask about. No, no. I'm going to try and make it out to Coney to go to Nathan's. I'm going to try and swing by where my homeboy Davey D used to live. Go by where CB's was. Try and check out where the Mars Bar was. Where the Continental was. Uh, all the places that I know from going out there with Scrid and Keto and being on tour, I fucking most of them are gone now. And uh, cool thing is, I know Davey D is actually in New York this weekend as well. He's there with St. Paul and the Broken Bones. I'm going to try and hook up with him. Old school fucking buddy, drummer from Kung Pao, and just an all around good goddamn dude to know. Sunday, after the food tour and the fucking tourist bullshit, which is like dumbass tourist shit. It's not normal tourist shit. It's Craig tourist shit. Anyway, after the hot dog and uh, landmark tour, uh, we go to Hammerstein. Hammerstein Ballroom is a legendary, legendary venue. Monday Night Raw originally ran out of there. ECW had legendary moments in that room. Ring of Honor has had some great stuff in that room. And GCW is coming in hot and hard. It's the biggest show they've ever had. It's the biggest wrestling crowd to ever attend a show at Hammerstein. Because A, GCW ain't got a bunch of bullshit monitors and a bunch of pyro and fucking ramps and gimmicks and all that shit. Which is cool, but it doesn't make a difference in the fucking ring. And I'm about the work. I'm not about the glitz in the fucking show. Keep your fucking special effects. Give me a fucking story, alright? Oh, brain freeze, brain freeze, brain freeze, brain freeze. If I keep saying it, maybe it'll unfreeze. I doubt it. Anyway, biggest crowd ever in Hammerstein. Second row seats for me. I know uh, my girl Tiffany's going to be there. i finally going to get to meet Rich Steve from Stack Season Sauces. Going to be a bunch of GCW fam there. And we're all there for one reason. And it's to be there for the biggest show in GCW history, to be there for wrestling history, and just have a good goddamn time. Get out of that show. About four hours later, I jump on a fucking plane and take my ass back to Chicago, where I jump on a bus and take my ass back here to Iowa City. Leave Iowa City at 1.10 a.m. Saturday morning. Return to Iowa City approximately 4 p.m. Monday afternoon. I'm going in hard and fast, and we're going to have a good goddamn time. I'll tell you about it when I get back. I've got a bunch of other shit to rant about. We're going to make this a more frequent fucking thing with me on the hot plate. 
Uh, it's going to be more than just wrestling also. I got a lot of shit that I just want to get off my brain, especially working this last week at the theater. I have dealt with some of the dumbest motherfuckers ever dealt with in customer service in 30 years this week. This band is good, and the people who come see it obviously know good music, at least know this is a good band. But man, there are some dance motherfuckers that listen to these dudes. I ain't going to call them out. You can figure it out. Fucking good band. The opener is incredible. Rainbow Girls are kick-ass. You need to check these ladies out, man. If you like some bluegrass and some harmonizing, that's the shit. I'm Ortega Latrobe. This is Ortega's Hot Plate. This is going up on Spotify and a lot of other podcast platforms. The video will be up on YouTube. Remember, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check out our Patreon. Please support our podcast, support our efforts here, support my food show, Snacking with Ortega, and Snacking with Ortega Little Gimmicks. I do some recipes, I do some cooking, check it all out, please. Let's keep this thing going. I'm ready to go have a kick-ass time this weekend. GC Dub fam, let's fucking do it. Tribe, I will see your ass down the road. Well, yeah, fuck you too. Bye-bye.